Self-love is a lot more than just treating yourself to a little glass of wine and maybe put on a face mask at night. No, it goes much deeper than that, but a lot of people actually think about situations like that when they hear the words self-love. They think, oh, self-care Saturday is like, woohoo, because I love myself, I get to take care of myself today. No, it goes much deeper than that. You see, I used to be so reliant on other people, other things like certain pleasures, sources of pleasure for my own happiness. It was all outside sources. It was all, nothing came from within. I, I couldn't cultivate any self-love, any happiness from within. It all came from either a girl that I was seeing, like for example, anytime I, I was with a girl and like we were seeing each other for more than one occasion, I would end up relying on her for my happiness. See, with without her, I felt like I was nothing. I had that kind of weak, mindset of I need her to be happy so I'd rely on her for my own happiness and for love. I didn't feel good about myself if we weren't with each other and at the same time I didn't feel good about myself if I wasn't let's say smoking weed because I would get high and feel good about myself, feel happy, feel love, loved in a weird way. I had to chase all sorts of pleasure to feel good about myself. I had to be playing video games, I had to be watching porn, I had to be watching TV. Had to be smoking weed. Had to be with a, had to be with a girl I liked. Nothing came from within. I had no happiness and love from within myself. And we all have that within us. It's in there. It is in there. We just have to find it. And that is what I did. I went on a mission to find my own happiness, to find my own self-love without even really realizing it. But hey, now I can make this video because I went from a guy who like I said, relied on other sources of pleasure, other people for happiness and was able to turn into a guy now who loves himself and is happy and content with himself. I also struggled to be alone because when I was alone, it was just me and my thoughts and I didn't, I had negative thoughts constantly. I had anxiety, depression. So I, that's why I drowned out my thoughts with smoking weed, playing video games. I'd get lost in the virtual re virtual world i'd get lost in watching porn like i was just i couldn't i i didn't feel right when i was alone due to the fact that i wasn't able to build up happiness within myself i wasn't able to cultivate self-love at the end of the day we're all alone with our thoughts and if you were like me then you're probably going through it right now because you, you can't be alone. You hate being alone. You're drowning out your thoughts with cheap dopamine, with drugs, with porn, with video games, with social media, because you can't live with your own thoughts. You can't just sit there and be happy with yourself unless you're stimulated with some, sort, some source of pleasure or unless you're with your friends, with a girl. That was me. That was me and I was able to finally cultivate some, some type of self-love, some source of happiness within myself. Here's how I did it. By the way, the answer is not sexy, okay? Gosh, my chair's squeaking. Eat your, eat your, eat your, eat your. Uh, come on, Matt, get your shit together. Start recording. This is a serious video. This is a serious topic. Serious, oh, seriously serious, okay? Serious. <sighs> It takes actual work for you to transform your self-love, for you to transform yourself, for you to change yourself. Yes, it takes work. You probably expect me to tell you, no, you can just stand in front of a mirror and say, I love myself over and over and over again until you finally do. Like, I know there's a space for that. It, it can move the needle a little bit, a little bit, but you're not gonna see real change and real results from just standing in front of a mirror and telling yourself you love yourself when the rest of your life is completely fucked. Because I used to hear that advice and I, you know, in my head, try to say, I love myself, I love myself, but I didn't believe it at all. I didn't love myself. So by me saying it, it just, it didn't do anything for me. I couldn't even look myself in the eyes and stand in front of a mirror and actually say it because I knew I was lying to myself. It felt cringy, it didn't feel right. So what I did to actually grow my self-love is I stopped indulging in so much pleasure. I removed a lot of the instant gratification activities from my life and replaced them with delayed gratification activities. It always goes back to that. Delayed gratification over instant gratification. Boom, 
boom. Boom. So one of the biggest things that helped me increase my self-love is I quit my weed addiction, I quit my nicotine addiction. So I wasn't now relying on those sources of pleasure for happiness because I was always searching for that next high, that next bong rip, that next joint. I was always searching for that next high because I didn't feel happy with myself without it. I needed to be high to feel happy. So when I finally removed those from my life and sat in the fire of yeah, it sucks when you first quit, but I sat in that fire and I got through those first few weeks of just pure and utter hell because I was fiending for that shit. But once I got over that, it's like, damn, all right, I'm proud of myself. And I started to actually feel sort of happiness within myself because I wasn't relying on getting high to feel happy. I was now just sober all the time and I, it, it grew a little, okay? My self-love started to grow and then the next thing I did, well actually kind of at the same time is I, I got on NoFap, found out about NoFap. NoFap is powerful, right? NoFap literally helped me grow my self-love because I wasn't constantly looking at porn all the time and beating my meat like a little monkey. It's powerful because when you are watching porn, you have all this brain fog. Your mental clarity is so fucked. There's, there's numerous studies about how messed up it is for your brain. I've made nofap videos before. This isn't a nofap video, but it was crazy because once I actually got on nofap, quit weed, quit nicotine, my self-love started going through the freaking roof because I was now not indulging, like I said, in pleasure. I was proud of myself for quitting those addictions. If you've seen some of my other videos, you might know part of my story, but I also deleted social media. I also stopped playing video games. I also started working out consistently and started building a body I was proud of. Like, this may sound extreme, but yeah, it kind of is, but it wasn't something that happened overnight. This happened over the course of like a six month period where I removed pleasure and instant gratification while replacing it with delayed gratification over time. It wasn't like, oh, I immediately woke up and quit weed and quit porn and quit nicotine and started working out and started meditating and stopped playing video games and deleted social media all in one day. Like, that's not how it works. I mean, maybe you can big dick it like that and go all in, but that's not what I did. I, over time, removed one at a time, one at a time, <clears throat> and it just snowballed. Just snowballed, and the fact that I was now doing forms of delayed gratification, like working out consistently, meditating consistently, and meditation is very powerful because you're able to sit with yourself and just be, just be content with, yourself in that moment. Learn how to live with yourself in that moment. Learn how to cultivate that happiness within yourself by just sitting there and breathing. Raises your consciousness, raises your awareness of your thoughts, raises your, raises your self-love. So at some point during all of this, during this period of time where I was just removing instant gratification and replacing with delayed gratification, there was a shift within me it's hard to explain, but there was literally a shift within me where it was like, I now felt whole again, almost childlike. I felt happiness coming within me, coming within me. Yikes. That's a little fruity, but I, <laughs> I just felt better about myself. I was proud of myself. I feel like I, it's hard to explain, but I felt this just deep sort of love for myself. It's like, I can't explain it any other way, but it's because I, totally flipped around my lifestyle and was now living in accordance with what I was supposed to be living like, how we're supposed to be living. We're supposed to be on self-improvement. We're supposed to be trying to better ourselves daily. We're not supposed to be indulging in all this pleasure and making ourselves more and more and more and more depressed over time like I was. So that's the thing, my mental health got better. And with better mental health comes more happiness, more self-love, like it, they go hand in hand. It's hard to love yourself when you're not happy with who you are, when you're depressed and anxious. It's hard to love yourself. At the same time, it was hard to love myself when I didn't have a body I was proud of. And that's more superficial, but once I, once I built more muscle and looked in the mirror and was like, okay, damn, I like what I see now. You know what I mean? Like that helped too. That helped too being proud of the way you look. I wanna talk about meditation a little more too because meditation, like I said, is freaking powerful. It allowed me to go within myself and not, and not think about all this outside pleasure and all this cheap dopamine of the modern world. It allowed me to just cultivate happiness within myself. I went within. 
I, I'm having a hard time explaining this because I, it's kind of like woo woo, but it works. Five minutes a day is all I did. I did five minutes of meditation a day. And over time, my awareness of who I was just kept going up and up and up. And it helped a lot with being able to step away from the instant gratification activities because I became more aware of what they were doing to me and how they were affecting my brain. It, I became more aware of how jerking off was fucking up my life. I became more aware of how playing video games is a waste of time. Like you just, you learn a lot about yourself through meditation. You become more in control of your thoughts. You become more relaxed and calm. It's all it takes. A couple deep breaths, more than a couple, because you want to do like a few minutes, work your way up to five, 10 minutes at a time. Start meditating, all right? And don't give up after a week or a day and say, ah, oh, it didn't fucking work for me. Come on, you gotta do it for longer than a week. You gotta, you gotta consistently do it for three weeks to a month and you will start to feel these shifts inside you. You'll start to realize what it's doing for you. You'll start to realize you're more present in the moment. You're, you're more aware of who you are. You're more aware of your thoughts. You're more aware of the consequences of all your actions and decisions. You feel better when you meditate. You feel more relaxed and at peace with who you are. That's a big thing of how I was able to increase my self-love, I think. Maybe, and this is just my opinion, all right? This is how I grew my self-love. And maybe there's other ways to do it, but I fully believe that everybody needs to stop indulging in so much pleasure. It's basically the root cause of every issue known to us right now. It's why you're depressed, it's why you're anxious. Anxious, anxious. And I'm not a doctor though. So maybe you have actual clinical depression. And in that case, see a doctor, but I would first get on the dopamine detox lifestyle where you're, where you're removing the instant pleasure and you're replacing it with delayed pleasure, delayed gratification. And watch how you start to cultivate and grow happiness and love within yourself. Just watch what happens. Take my word for it. So like I said earlier, it's not a sexy answer. It's not just an overnight fix. It takes work to build yourself love up. It takes discipline. It takes a desire to change and a desire to be that guy who loves himself. Your desire for change has to outweigh your desire for cheap pleasures. If you completely desire to keep smoking weed, to keep watching porn, to keep playing video games all the time, if that's your desire and that's much larger than your desire to change, then you'll never make any change. Your desire to change has to be larger than that of the desire for chasing that pleasure. One, that's when I started making changes, when I actually realized I need to change and I actually finally built up this desire in me to change that was larger than the desire of being weak, of chasing pleasure, of staying stuck and not making any progress. Hope that makes sense. Hope this video helped. If you want to leave a like, leave a like. If you want to comment, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. There's a link to join a Discord if you want to chop it up in there, talk about self-improvement, talk about how to grow your self-love, talk about mental health, talk about no fap, talk about fitness. There's like 25 guys in there right now, so go join, introduce yourself, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.